Hello everyone and welcome to A Crow and Her Garden and it has been a very busy day. Today is May 8th, 2022 and it is Mother's Day and so for, for Mother's Day my husband and my son actually came out and helped me in the garden. I have got my barrels all filled up with dirt and I finally got my tomatoes planted. They were getting so tall and really very much in need of being planted. I planted these very deep and look how tall they are. So I'm just gonna give you a little tour so I can be able to look back and see how big they were when I planted them and how much they grow. I know they're gonna just take off here being in the finally in the beds where they will grow and produce fruit. So here in this first barrel at the top of the deck, I have Amish paste tomatoes right here, two of them. And these are determinants that I'm going to plant a string trellis. I will take another video when I get all that set up. But I have, I have some time before they will need to be on the string. So these are the Amish paste tomatoes. And then right here, I've got two of my Rosella cherry tomatoes. These will produce like a darker, uh, smoky looking cherry tomato. I'm really excited about tasting these. I'm on a mission to find a cherry tomato that I like to eat. So we will see how those do. I added a little bit more dirt to this bed and scattered a bunch of dill seed because I want to have a lot of dill because I'm going to have lots of cucumbers here in this bed up here. My muncher cucumbers have sprouted, although not too many, but plenty to cover this trellis right here. I planted a lettuce leaf basil here in the middle, in between the cucumbers here. Last year I grew a basil plant, just a, your regular typical basil, but this is lettuce leaf basil. And look how big the leaves are already getting. They are so pretty. Here I got lots of Boston pickling cucumbers finally sprouting, doing great, looking healthy. Up here in this bed, is more Boston pickling cucumbers. And then here I planted some lemon basil. We'll see how big that gets. Making our way down in the garden. My sage is getting so big. I have got to cut it back, cut off. I'm going to let the bees have at these flowers a little bit longer before I trim this back quite a bit because here I've planted a mamolo basil plant. This is just one single plant. I'm hoping to get lots of basil off of that. My thyme is also flowering. I've got to cut that back because I don't want the basil to get taken over. And that empty space there, I'm planning to either plant my celery or maybe some peppers. We shall see. Over here, my garlic is jamming. Doing great, have about another six weeks before I will be harvesting that. I cannot wait. They're looking really big. My potatoes are doing fantastic. They are looking so healthy. These will be harvested early July, late June, early July. I planted these in March and they need to go at least three months before I harvest them. The other day I planted, I had three sunflowers that were growing in one single little starter pot. So I was able to pull them apart and I knew the one in the center would do well, but even the other two, which I had to really rip the roots up pretty good, but they seem to be doing great too. And a lot of my Okra has sprouted too. Really excited about that. There are some weeds I need to get out of there, but for the most part, it's doing great. And down here in my barrels are all my Roma tomatoes, just like I grew last year. They're looking really good. I know they're gonna be so happy to be in the pots. Here today, I had to tear out all that cilantro. It was getting so tall. It was taller than Peyton. It's very tall. 
my blueberry bushes. My husband actually gave me the idea because here in this really dead space is where all of that dirt was that I used to fill up the barrels. Well, the the everything's dead here, so all I would have to do would be to till this soil a little bit, and maybe add some compost to it, and I could plant my blueberries right there, and that would work. So I'm going to give that a try here and here in a couple weeks. Here I added some more soil to this bed and this is going to be all ready for me to plant my peppers in here. A couple more tomatoes right here. I believe this is another Amish paste right here and this is Dad's Sunset. I'm really excited about the Dad's Sunset. I, I love the tomatoes I got off of those last year. Here we have one more Rosella cherry tomato. And then here, I'm super excited about this one. This is the Brad's Crazy, Barry's Crazy Cherry tomato. And then one more Rosella tomato right there. Both doing great. My dog Sandy is with me. She's eating something happened on it. If you hear a weird noise, that's what that noise is. Just meandering over here, I've got my Taiwan yard long green beans have popped. Doing great. I can't wait till they get tall enough for me to put them on this trellis and see them take off. I'm really excited about seeing how well these do in this trellis and that is basically it my friends everything's looking good i will post updates as things begin to grow and take off thank you so much for watching